Wait, it's what? Like the stream, it just lessens and lessens and lessens. Just like it did before. Time to Here, look at it. Also, can we... Yeah, don't you want to bathe yourself <laughs> in this? Oh, and, and this is every single door right here. Unbelievable. Watch. Prove it. Like... Get French... It, French, French don't believe in WD-40. Oh, check out the... Got some good mold growing, I think. What else do we have? Um, what is, oh, what is this? Oh, it's, that's the heater, but check out the, the nice air vent in the roof. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's where we ventilate. <laughs> that's our raccoon family habitat. <laughs> oh. And these are our <laughs> cleaning supplies, if you want to call it that. Shower! Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Also, paint job on point. And here is our room. There's Julio. Check out. Oh, by the way, our door. It's pretty good. The one that way. Hang on. Julio, why isn't it making the sound when I want it to? Because they're doing a video. Hang on. We just need to get like a good breeze. Anyway, it'll happen at some point. Um, that doesn't come off. Um, that's cool. But we do have our own sink, which I guess is a plus. And then, oh, by the way, closets here, they don't believe in, in drawers, so we're literally like, we have to stack our clothes. Oh, I guess, okay, they do have drawers. If you can put something in there, I don't know what their plan was for this. I can't. How do you put things in this drawer? I don't know. I guess um, life here isn't, it's not so bad, really. The bathrooms are the worst part, for sure. And the washers. Oh yeah, the washers. Actually, let's take a trip. So I went to do laundry yesterday, actually, in the middle of putting my clothes into the washer. I realized I pretty much can't hold any clothes. Oh, Even worse downstairs. <laughs> like, I literally <laughs> turned it on and nothing came out of the downstairs one. Here's our washer and dryer. They look fine, right? Pretty good. Uh, well, first of all, how do you get the water to it? Here's the water. So it goes through the wall over to this side. They pull it straight out of the drain, which has some really weird sounds. And, yeah, um, it's like that, that deep, like, like, it's, it's very, very, can't. This side though, the dryer can hold a ton. Like, I can put my whole arm in there. So, theoretically, you could wash a lot of clothes, then you could also dry them, um, which would be nice for sure. Too bad. The right side is you get a really sweet view while you do your laundry. And just for kicks, we're gonna hit the other bathroom. I just love that it's called, called the douches. Um, I don't know why there's that thing, but there's that thing. Okay, so this one, I mean, they're basically the same showers and all that, but we have an even better version of the mildew. Um, and in fact, the camera is making this look better, <laughs> better than it is. We heard that uh, in two years they're destroying the whole building and building a new one, so I guess we were just born too early. <laughs> That's all I got. Probs. <laughs> you know they take forever to
So, the view got nicer since the last time I was filming about the living conditions of the dorm. This is where we leave our dirty sheets. Dirty sheets and towels. Um, and once in a while they get picked up. So, uh, the dorm looks nicer now than it ever has because it's Christmas time. Got a beautiful little tree, the lobby. We have um, some nice uh, Santa Claus art here. Mm -hmm. the Dean's office. The nicest room. Nicest room in the whole dorm. Bonjour. Sorry. See y'all later. Piano room, kitchen, we'll come back to that. And this is our super, super jank workout room. Um, this is cool. We have um, punching bags, that's Toby's playing Andrea Botticelli. Kobe. Howdy. Kobe kind of lives here. Um, so yeah. Um, time to <laughs> time to get a workout in, I guess. It's like, oh, okay. We have. Um, well, I don't know what you'd do here, but <laughs> a little you know, sketch. You you angle your seat. So if you want to sit over there, that's where you would do it. So you're, you're on your bike, but then you go to grab. So let's say the beat drops and you're like, let's go. You grab. <laughs> <laughs> I keep fixing this legit. Like I fixed it last week and I don't know who comes in here and breaks it. Oh, this is one of my favorite machines. So you know, it's, it's perfectly tailored to the average person who would be working out. So if you look, you got a good distance apart, just enough for you to fit in between. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me grab a, a something something here. It's good and secure too. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> And then, we'll just... <laughs> yeah, where's the stopper thing? <laughs> I'm gonna smash your head. Just, just, you know, like... The <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's perfect, you know? One, two, actually that wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> this is where we practice our boxing. For self-defense purposes only. But you know, it just comes Unless from. we had a chance to get at the little chef. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the exercise though, for real, it just comes from not so much the punching, but more of like the picking the bag back up after you you're done. Yeah. And then um well this is how we practice. So we give it a give it a good jab, and um, now we'll do it again. I'm like line it up. 
But even then, like, the whole machine just shifts. <laughs> so, like, just in case, you know, if you're doing your other um, pinch press, and you feel like you need a, a bit more of a, a manly bench, you know, like, you just take it off. <laughs> And then you got you got yourself a good metal one, you know. Perfect. Oh, Kobe, can you go ahead and point out which things work and which ones are broken? Um, this technically works. Broken. Okay. Broken. This isn't broken, but, but it I doesn't mean, work. Who's gonna use it? You don't need it that much. This. This is something that is really great. It's a chair. The only thing that does work is the bench itself, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's the only thing that this can do. <laughs> this doesn't work. You go down. You just take it. <laughs> you want. So you go down and you can do normal things. More of like a concentrated workout. You just turn it, <laughs> and then you go down. Let's go check out the uh, kitchen. There's a giant hole right here. Like, like giant. So this is the kitchen. It's actually pretty cool. Won't lie to you. It's kind of nice. Got a nice little area. Foosball. But oh, the ball's back. Oh, cool. Problem is, every time you score a goal. You can't really get it back. You gotta like lift the whole table. I got you. Oh, there it is. You got it? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. Yeah. I've never played because the ball's never here. <laughs> um, this is the area. It's really, it, like this area is nice. The problem is there's nothing to use. Like this is it. Um, we have a spoon. Actually, I might be able to find another one. Yep, there's one down there. There's no you no forks. You don't use the cups. Yeah. But we have them. We have one, one lock. Everything else, let's get a bowl. Oh. And what? Is that a Duplo? Is a, oh, it's a... It's like a Duplo, like a Lego, but for kids. Oh, the plates? Oh, wait. Oh, and the fridge. Pretty gross stuff in here. I don't even want to... We have a microwave. We have a microwave? It doesn't work. Oh, figures. Mm, that's interesting. Did not know that was the word for that. <laughs> um, also, you can turn on the stove with this switch, but I don't want to do it because I've turned on the stove before, but there's no way to turn it off. And usually I just kind of clean everything up and I leave and I just hope that eventually it'll automatically turn off, which I don't think is the case, or that somebody will come later and turn it off, which I think has happened every time successfully. Um, well, I mean, that's that's really the dorm. That's in its entirety. Oh, dude. I walked in. I went to the TV room and, like. Who was there? Dude. I think I could guess. It was very awkward. Very awkward. He's a weasel. Anyway. Alright, I'm done.